so at the end of the day, the mission of the fire department is one thing, and that's to serve our people. Our old Opticom system was prohibiting us from getting to where we needed to be in a timely manner. I'm Mark Woolley, I'm the Assistant Chief assigned to Emergency Services for the National Fire Rescue. A National Fire Rescue is the second largest fire department in the state of New Hampshire. We're situated right in the Massachusetts border. We respond out of six fire stations. We run six engine companies, three ladder companies, and a deputy chief as a shift commander. Our city is spread out pretty wide. It's about 40 square miles. We respond to, on average, about 12,000 emergencies. Our main street is a very busy area. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of business going on. It is very, very difficult to clear the traffic in all directions. Our solution for emergency response, the city of Nashua for a long time ran an Opticom line of sight system. Uh, so I saw for 20 years how that system was declining. We're a very old city. So our ability to maintain line of sight year round is pretty much non-existent because we have a lot of tree growth of trees that have been in the city for 100 plus years that we protect. And as you're driving down some of our streets in the middle of the summer, that growth really prohibits us from having line of sight. The complaints that we were fielding on a regular basis from our companies that were responding continued to grow uh, to the point where the Opticom system no longer was a benefit for us. It was really becoming a liability. If it worked, it was a, a good day. But in all likelihood, we didn't really anticipate that the Opticom would allow us to control the intersection. The old Opticom stuff, we had been using it, starting to be obviously getting old and unreliable, but very expensive. For the last 10 years or so, we've got every month a punch list from the emergency services. Say we've been through these 12 or 15 intersections and this direction didn't work for us, and that's very time consuming. It started getting to a point like, well, what do you want us to fix this month until? <laughs> It was a real burden on the traffic department. Our budget got tapped considerably over the years as the fire department didn't necessarily have the personnel to support that infrastructure. We all knew it was an issue and the city conducted a master plan and within the master plan was a whole bunch of time and effort spent on our response times and how we can better improve them. So when we were uh, going through the process of determining what traffic preemption system we needed to use, the redundancy system that Glance brought to us was really important to us. Recently, we suffered a cellular outage in our country in which nobody was able to communicate. And some of the programs that are out there are cellular based. And that would be great if the cellular system was always working, but you can see that it can quickly get overrun sometimes and we lost it. We have a lot of areas in our city on our 800 megahertz radio system that works really, really well, but we also know that there's parts of our city where the 800 megahertz radio system isn't gonna work. So if we took that ideology from our portable radios and overlaid that with our traffic preemption needs, uh, that's really where that redundant aspect of Glance really made them stand out better than everybody else. Any system at any time could be damaged. An antenna can go bad, uh, you know, any, anything can happen, right? So having redundancy in any system, especially a safety critical system is very important. And in the fire service, redundancy is vitally important. Being able to have a backup to backups is ensuring that we're gonna be successful in our endeavors. And one of those things is life safety, you don't get a second chance. So knowing that we had a system that both had radio and cellular and using most up-to-date technology provided us with a solution that was ideal. Whether our cellular service was down or our radio system was down, we knew that one of those systems was going to be allow us to get us the preemption. And since we put the system online, uh, it's been about eight months, I can count on one hand how many questions we've had from our companies. I guess I could put it best this way. The senior member of our department has been here for 38 years. He's been a chief officer for 15, so it takes a little bit to impress him. Uh, about a week after Glance being on the line, he came back and said, well, that's an incredible system. So firefighters are very apt to give you feedback uh, when things are wrong, and the feedback coming from this is all positive. The report's coming back. There was some fine tuning initially, but now we're rocking and rolling. Literally was just turning a switch. After we had done our testing and preemption approaches and so forth, and did the little bit of tweaking that we had to do, we found a product that was just way more than what we expected. This technology is so smart. It understands where you're going. It understands that the blinker is on. It starts clearing out the traffic for you. You're not even on the road yet, so that when you take that turn, your traffic pattern is clear. 
It also gives you the ability to start gauging the speed of the truck. So as you're approaching the traffic incident, you have your safe working spot, but all the other traffic can kind of clear up from where you are. We knew we were going to be taking a very big jump in technology, but I honestly thought it was uh, too good to be true until we started seeing it put in place. And when the system was placed in service, the members utilizing it in the field day in and day out are big fans. The only complaint we've ever had is that we didn't have it 10 years before. Being able to use the Glance software, not only was user intuitive, it was also just self-evident that it was going to be a powerful tool in how we respond and how we handle our emergency responses in the city. We found out that one, we had amazing insight as to where our apparatus was second by second. Being able to watch and be able to make decisions as to who should respond to events using that information was very powerful. But also the fact that being able to see and use the analytics to know how the intersections were responding to the apparatus that were coming through was a whole new insight that we needed to have before. It removes an angst, it removes something from your plate. It gives you a, uh, a satisfaction knowing that I am giving our members the best tool that is available to go out there and do their job every day uh, safely and efficiently. As a leader in the public works field, we're all about service. Working with the fire department to bring this new technology to them to make them more effective in what they do in serving the residents, that was really rewarding for us. It's great to be in a community that is adopting these new technologies and implementing them where they make sense. Working with Ocean State's been great. They were a great partner in this project, implementing this new system. It's been everything that was promised. Um, it was implemented as promised. They were a great partner in the process. We have a long working relationship with Ocean State Signal and it's been great. I think it's been around 20 years. The installation for this went extremely smooth. We got to have our own personnel on site so they could see how the installation was done. They were familiar with the components. They were confident that trouble shouldn't replace them as a result of that. So we couldn't be happier. We had this immediate need to address the emergency preemption, but we're also looking to the future. We're looking at connected vehicles, you know, transit, preemption, preemption for our plow trucks and that sort of thing. So, yeah, having a system that met that need today, but that was scalable for the future and our future growth into additional technologies was really important to us. And at the end of the day, we have one mission when we come here, and that is to get to the people that need us. Having the ability to have a technology help us get there in a safe manner so that we can provide the service that we need to our citizens is invaluable.